Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel Mining Engineering. I am Satya Brata. Today's video is about opencast mine blasting pattern. In the previous lecture, we have discussed the drill pattern and now we will discuss the blasting pattern in the opencast surface bench blasting. So, in the last class, we have discussed the drill pattern. So, what is the drill pattern? An arrangement of boreholes laid out in a blast area expressed in terms of burden and spacing measurement. So, this is the surface mine bench and here are the blast holes or the bore holes and these bore holes are placed or drilled at certain distances from each other. So, this first bore hole is at certain distance with the second and the third one. So, this spacing and this burden, the arrangement of this boreholes is called the drilling pattern and we have discussed there are four types of drilling pattern like the normal square, staggered square, normal rectangular and the staggered rectangular. These are four types of drilling pattern. Like this is the normal drilling pattern as the second row boreholes are exactly behind the first row and the shape is forming like a square, this is the normal square. And this is the stagger, the second row borehole is in between the gap of the first row borehole and the bottom spacing is equal. So this is the square pattern and here the bottom is less than the spacing. That's what's called the rectangular pattern. And this is the normal because the second row borehole is exactly behind the first row and this is the rectangular staggered pattern. So now come to the blast pattern. Blast pattern may be subdivided into three parts like the drilling pattern, initiation pattern, and the charging pattern. The drilling pattern is a subdivision of the blast pattern. So when someone will ask you what is the blast pattern, so start will be the drilling pattern, initiation pattern, and the charging pattern. So the importance in the blasting pattern is after drilling the boreholes, how we are blasting these boreholes one by one. That's called the initiation pattern and that is the most important thing in the blast pattern. So, this is one drilling pattern. We can say this is a normal square pattern. The first row and this is the second row. Now, come to the initiation sequence. So, what we are doing, we have connected these 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 bore holes, 8 blast holes in the first row. Similarly, there are 8 blast holes in the second row. We are connecting these 8 blast holes with the codex that is called the detonating cord so that there is no delay. These 8 blast holes will be blasted at a time. Simultaneously, these 8 blast holes will be blasted. And what will happen? And we have connected some type of delay. We have let us suppose you have uh, inserted one non -l. so there will be a delay of 25 millisecond. And after 25 millisecond, the second row containing of 8 blast holes will be blasted. So this is the initiation sequence. So we are initiating here at the zero number blast hole and at a time the 8 blast holes will be blasted and after a delay of 25 millisecond, these 8 blast holes will be blasted. So this type of initiation sequence is called the row to row. The first row will be blasted. After some gap, the second row will be blasted. This is called the row to row initiation pattern. Now, so why we are conducting this type of blast pattern? So, what's the importance of this type of delay? Why we are applying this delay for conducting the blasting? The first thing we should know let us suppose we are not applying any delay. So, what will happen? Suppose the blast hole which is present here, this what will be the burden, what amount of rock mass that borehole has to push, that borehole has to be blasted. So this is called B. So let us suppose this is a B burden. So there are two times of the B, the blast hole, here the blast hole has to push two times the burden. However, if we are applying some delay, what will happen? This row will be blasted. That means 
B amount block mass will be blasted and after the delay of 25 millisecond when the second row will be blast the B amount of bottle is not there and it's already blasted so for the second row also the amount of load will be only B only B length of rock mass the second row has to be blasted so that's the importance of the delay by applying delay we are increasing the efficiency of the blasting the efficiency of the blasting will be increased so what are the types of blast pattern the row to row v cut and the extended v cut so as i have already discussed with this is the row to row first row blast holes will blast first and after some delay the second row blast holes will, will blast so this first row will be blasted and after a delay of certain millisecond let us suppose 5 millisecond 10 millisecond whatever after the delay the second row blast holes will be blasted that's called the row to row now come to the v cut pattern why it's called the v cut the initiation sequence is similar to a v shape here in the v cut pattern the center blast hole this will be blasted first and after there will be some gap of let us suppose 10 millisecond these three boreholes blast holes will be blast one this after this then this four then this four then this four and at last this two the shape is like a p that's called the p cut pattern we'll see this thing first this blast hole will be blasted and after a gap the next three blast holes will be blasted and after a gap the next four plus this one this one two and this also okay then this four and then this two this is called the v cut pattern again what will be the extended v cut pattern the v cut little bit extended this one two three will be blasted first then this one then five this then this four and then this four and then this two like this see this first this three blast tools will be blasted then this five then the three till the sequence then this four then this four then lastly this two so this is called the extended v cut pattern so what will happen why we are designing this type of v cut pattern so here also by applying the delay we are increasing the free phase let us suppose the for the first row this is the free phase so while while these three blast holes will be blasted for them the free phase will be like this only this much area however after the blasting of these three boreholes this total area will be blasted and the free phase will be increased like these five boreholes there will be one free phase two free phase and three free phase so the amount of free phase will be increased the efficiency of the blast will be increased so that's why we are applying such type of initiation patterns further what will happen while these two blast holes will be blasted simultaneously the effective force will be applied towards each other that will increase the fragmentation in the rock mass so what are the benefits of v cut pattern these v cut patterns are far superior to row to row pattern this result in superior fragmentation due to reduced hole burdens and increased spacing at the time of hole initiation and also due to in flight collision of broken rock during its movement the delayed action of holes in the back row reduces overbreak ensuring increased wall stability so this is all for the open cast drilling and blasting pattern in the next We'll discuss the underground drilling and blasting pattern. Thank you.